Hey, what's going on? <laughs> I'm gonna do one, two, three, four tack welds. I learned that if you do tack welds, it's a lot easier to remove a, a, a mistake instead of welding everything. I've been through there several times, so learn the hard way. And we're pretty much dead center there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a mark here and then one inch and one inch. So that can be the outside of the two inch going up. So I'll probably go two inch up and then two inch back and then do like a like a 45 there to reinforce it that way. And I'll figure out which other uh, bracing I'll do on this. So there's no gap there. Same thing here, there, and there. So I can assume that everything is squared off there and we're gonna attack it. Just two plates holding that section in place and I'm gonna weld there and there and uh, just continue tacking I'm gonna use my respirator here because there's a lot of rust particles. So here's a better view of the bracing. I just did a, a small cut on here. I could have done a better angle, but that'll work. I'll reinforce here, the backside. 
the underside. Same thing here, I grinded all this section, all weld here on the back side, and that should stabilize this a lot. And these braces were um, first gonna be over this, uh, this section here, but then I didn't want it to hit these. So I think we're good. Just gotta get my welder back here, crank it on and tack them in place. All right, so nothing fancy, just a lot of scrap metal. I know it's kind of hard to see with the sun and the shade there, but I'm gonna see if I can find a, a way to take this to the ranch today so I can test it out. <clears throat> Other than that, it's been a long, uh, long project in the back burner and I finally finished it. So hopefully we can take it today.